I'm gonna call Trudeau now and tell him, man, we gotta play here, man. All right, Javon, three at the line, Raptors style. We've had our end of season press conferences in the books. Kyle Lowry said the Raptors ran out of games. Nick Nurse is very confident that they'll be back to winning ways next season. I think when you look at it, one, you're always going to quantify this with wins and losses in sports period. When you're looking at this team that hasn't, that didn't make this playoff run after so long, yeah, there's some disappointment. But then when you look at the big picture and you look at all the sacrifices that, you know, not only these guys have gone through, the sports staff, the coach in the front office, I actually spoke with somebody this week and they, they actually told me that they hadn't spoke, they haven't seen um, their kids or their husband, their family really, only once at All-Star break and once over the Christmas. So when you put all that into perspective, you really just have to commend these guys for the sacrifices that they made, um, guys and women actually, uh, for the sacrifices that made and just, you know, for the tremendous season from that aspect. They're the only team that really, you know, played 72 games on the road and just being away, being, you know, not in your comfort zone, not in your bed, um, you know, that changes the landscape for everything. So it's been a tough season, but you do have to commend them for that. Yeah, I think Masai said it best. If you had to rank the teams in terms of the circumstances that everyone had to deal with, obviously there was COVID, but you factor in the relocation, they would rank 30th in everything that they had to deal with. I do think they'll be back. I do think that this is a winning team at its core. And you look at the development that they gained towards the final stretch of the season. You look at Malachi Flynn, you look at Jalen Harris, how they're coming along. I think there are a lot of encouraging signs uh, for next season. Now, Fred Van Vliet in his presser said that when you look at Masai Ujiri, if Kyle Lowry is the greatest Raptor of all time, then Masai is number two. Is he right? You know what? You don't get one without the other. So I, I would say there's one A and one B where that's concerned. Um, you, you know, what Masai has done since coming here, coming to this Raptors team has been, you know, absolutely tremendous for not only, you know, the, the, the Raptors organization, but for basketball, the culture of basketball here in Canada on a whole. Um, you know, he's a risk taker. When you're looking at, you know, trading Bargnani to the Knicks, trading DeMar DeRozan, firing Coach Casey after coming off uh, Coach of the Year, He's made a lot of moves for this organization. And then you, you look at, you know, just bringing in the, the Raptors 905 and just helping, you know, that development aspect. He's put a lot of pressure on ownership to really move that needle and just create a, a space where, hey, we're not just trying to win today. We're trying to win for the next uh, 10 years, 20 years, and really create an established organization here. So have to tip your hat there. I'm going to put it this way. Kyle Lowry is the greatest Raptors player of all time. And when we think about that conversation, we only say players, but hey, if you include the front office, Masai Ujiri is the greatest Raptor of all time. Because when you look at where this franchise was when he stepped in, you look at even from a Kyle Lowry perspective, he challenged Kyle Lowry and said, hey, the way your career is going right now, you're going to be a journeyman. Is that what you want? So he challenged Kyle Lowry to find another level. When the Raptors we're hitting, running into that wall that was LeBron James over and over and over. He made that cold-hearted decision. He made the business decision to trade DeMar DeRozan and bring in Kawhi Leonard. He has put the franchise on his back and got them to the status that they are now. So yes, if you factor in front office and players, Masai Ujiri is the greatest Raptor of all time. All right, to finish up, we've talked about Kyle Lauer. We've talked about Masai Ujiri. Which one's staying? Which one's going? Are both staying? Are both leaving? What do you got? Okay, so I'll say this. Where Kyle Lowry's concerned, I think Kyle Lowry, and he's made it clear, he wants to win championships. Are the Raptors in a position to win championships right now? I don't think so. I also think Kyle has to factor in, you know, he's 35. He's not getting any younger. Father time is undefeated. He has to put himself in a position now where he can play minutes and not just significant minutes, but, you know, be impactful for a team uh, and not just have to not have to carry a team. And I think at that age, it's, that's really going to be where his concern is as well as he has a family. So the money's, you know, he has one more chance at a payday. So if you can get that in a championship, um, you know, that's going to take precedence. I don't see him returning. I would love him look for love for him to return, but just for where his point, the point he is in his career, I don't necessarily see it uh, where Masai is concerned. You know, we just got off a press conference with him and he just, he was really choked up in how, you know, the organization, the players spoke of him. I think he has a bigger plan. Um, and I think that MLSC is not going to let money be a deterrent. Uh, whatever, if it comes down to dollars and cents, he's going to get it. Uh, it's just going to boil down to, you know, just a family decision. I think he'll be here. The way I see it, Masai is back. Kyle moves on. 
we'll shed a tear, but hey, we'll see Kyle again one way or another, and we'll able to be able to give him his flowers. That's going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks for joining us. 